All right, how's it going, you guys? Sam from Taku, back with another unboxing. This time, something really special, something I've been waiting on for a long time. I believe I've mentioned before that Funimation was doing a couple special things for... Oh, I'm going to have to set this down. It's all going to fall. We'll pull it out one at a time. That Funimation was doing some special things for Cowboy Bebop's 20th anniversary, and I got one of them right here. So you kind of get a sneak peek. This is what comes on top. Look at this thing. Action figure coming soon. Uh, I don't really like Figmas, so this doesn't really do anything for me, but it makes sense that it's in the box. SH Figuarts, they pretty much make all the anime figures. To continue what I was saying, Funimation put up kind of like, I guess you would say a Kickstarter and Indiegogo, where if they had three different options for box sets, ranging in prices, I think it was $250, $350, $550, each with little different things, little different art, different aesthetics. And if a thousand any of them got bought, they would make it. And that's what we have here. So unfortunately, I'm going to push this off a little bit to the side. Only the lowest one got made. So the 250 is the only one that got made. I put down a purchase for all three of them. So maybe it's lucky that all of them didn't get made. It would have cost me 1150 bucks. That could have been brutal. But here is the $250 one. The Bounty Hunter Steel, as I believe what this one was called. So this is the original soundtrack on vinyl. There's me, what's up? We'll open it up, we'll open it up and we'll take a closer look at that. So there is the vinyl, I'm gonna pull everything out first and then we'll swing back around. So that's pretty fucking cool. I don't have a record player, but pretty badass to have. And this is the meat and potatoes right here, Cowboy Bebop Collector's Edition. Look at the front cover, so fucking beautiful. Blu-ray, got all the episodes, got a list of all the extras, I'll zoom in here. Let's see if it'll focus, there we go. Get a little closer there. Look at all of that. Mm -mm. Super, super cool. Feature runtime, 650 minutes. Extra runtime's almost half that, 250 minutes. Round up to 300, you know, math checks out. Blu-ray disc, you know. Extras on five Blu-ray discs. Oh no, it's all the, the stuff. And then even more extras. They got double extras working here. English voice cast reunion. Super cool. Love the voice cast. Cowboy Bebop 20th. So you know where you got it from. And that's everybody involved. Beautiful, beautiful box set. I didn't know this was rated R. That is really interesting to me. Wow. I guess that makes sense. It's a pretty gnarly anime. So there's that. Let's see what else we got in here. Ooh, I see... Certificate of Authenticity, look at this. Wow, this is super fucking cool. Okay. Number 213, that's uh, not really a cool number, but we'll take it. Oh, look at this. They're like really nice, I don't know what you would call these, like art cards, Like, but really nice. It feels like, I can't, I can't explain it, I'm bad at explaining. It's like, I think that's just all copyright stuff there. Sunrise, licensed by Sunrise Funimation. That's what it's gonna say on all the back. So I'm not gonna share that. So this is one of the things that was different. Um, I think in each of the different collector's editions, they had different art cards like these. So this is pretty cool. I'm on board with all this. What's the last one gonna be? Oh, all of them all together. This is so cool. I would love to hang these up. As if, if, if any of you guys watch any of my other videos, I don't have that much wall space. But I'm going to find a way to hang these up. I want to get frames, like a nice frame for all of them. Look how nice these are. Wow. Okay. I have number 213. If your favorite number is 213, I have your collector's edition. All right. And the last thing, this is probably what we'll start with. This is probably what we'll start with first. It's the art book. Check it out. All right. Let's take this thing out. This is some heavy duty book right here. This is really nice. And I don't know if this is gonna be something that you could buy all by itself, or if you have to get it from here. I imagine it's something you had to get from here. Oh, look at this. So cool. Cowboy Bebop always has some of the coolest art, like no joke. Like, I mean, just look at the art style. Oh, there's a big thing. Astro Blue Brothers, it all starts with the cool. Hey there, now I know you've been waiting for this for this long time, but the Bebop crew is finally taking their cool uncut jam sessions on tour. If you guys want to read any of that. 
There you go. Zoom in to your heart's content. Look at this. Spike Spiegel. Uh, I know his name's Jet, but goddamn, you cannot read that. That's hard. Oh, this is super cool. I'm just going to be saying super cool over and over again. Look how nice this is. There's Jet. Wow. Skip the page. I'm just going to quickly flip through here. Oh, so I guess this, this is the, these are the characters you meet. So second session, four, five, six. Okay. Continuing on. Hopefully you guys can see all you want. I'm just going to do a quick flip through. Super, super cool. Look at this. That's, um, <laughs> I forgot his name. I want to say Knives, but I feel like that's, I'm getting the bad character from Trigun mixed up. Fourth session. Wow. It's the art book that keeps on giving. Fifth session, everything you see reminds you of something. So I think these are just the episodes, and I probably a synopsis of the episodes that I'm looking at. If you watch Jupiter Jazz Part 2, with the idea of mine, Spike and Faye are drawn to green and vice. So maybe some background information. That's the story named Bebop Reese the Half Part. Is it Jet? No, Jet's... Jet. Guys, I am really bad with names. Just uh, point that. You know what? Where we'll find out his name is at the end here. Oh, wait. They have character synopsis. Are they Q&As? Hello, everyone. I'm Ed the Reporter. So this production that is yet to be made is cool and intense, real and surreal, sincere and bogus. Oh. So here's the Q&A. Cool little thing if you want to check it out. that focus that looks blurry on my screen sorry day there we go that's the best you got and then more over here jet super cool oh only spike and jet get an interview oh there's Faye wow she looks kind of different compared to how she was in the anime and I wonder, is that, is this Ed? Oh, so it says right here, let me show you guys uh, this. So this is something cool, so check this out. It says, Ed and BB. Originally a girl named BB was planned to be part or another crew member on Bebop. 1996, Doobie Doo Bebop planning memo. It says an individual about whom nothing is known as she doesn't understand speech. But BB's character was cut for the most part. Meanwhile, a boy version of Ed, who differs from the final version, is depicted in the swing proposal. Wow. Okay. And there's Ed. Oh, that's the boy version of Ed right there, I'm guessing. Weird. Wow, look how much has changed, huh? Let me get the full pick in there. Wow. It's neat what kind of changes can be, you know, be cut as they're making it. Like they cut a whole character. Succession. Some more Faye. I know you guys want to see this, so there you go. Excuse my shadow. Look at that. Okay, we're getting to the good bits. So this is kind of like curtain all over different clothes. Like if you had to animate it, that's what it looks like. Pretty cool. Then we get to Ed, which is probably one of the coolest characters in the show. Super, super cool. I like this picture so much. It is amazing. Seven set. We're getting close to the end. Boogie Woogie Fang shot. There's actually a lot of this art book left. We can start going through it a little more quickly here. Oops, I'm not going to skip any pages though. Don't worry. It's not much to talk about here aside from just being awe at the art. So, 
super cool. Ed and Jet. More Fey. More Fey. Ein. That's what I'm uh, going to say for that. And Ed. Here's the last one. Shooting Star Bebot. The real Folk Blues Part 1. Once a creator finishes their work, its meaning is left up to the viewer to interpret. That's a really cool way to look at it. Super cool. Series structure proposal, fourth draft. So is this... I guess this is what they were thinking of having the episode order go like. It's pretty cool. I like getting to see behind the scenes of how anime is made and how it works. Because I feel like as an American, you don't know much about how that goes. Not that I'm exactly going out there and looking it up and uh, putting my work in. But it's pretty much a mystery to me. All I hear every once in a while is how animators don't get paid very well. And they make most of their money off of like merch and DVD slash Blu-ray stuff. That's about all I know about how anime gets made. So... I'm sure it takes a fuck ton of work. And I also think, let's add on to that, that it costs a fuck ton to make an anime. Alright, cool, cool. Some more episode scenes. I won't skip the last one. Oh, I missed where I could have uh, checked the bad guy's name. I'm such a huge Bebop fan that I've forgotten his name. So don't take it personally, everybody out there, that I can't remember his name. I am fucking awful with names, as I said. Some blueprints of all the ships and what they look like. Super cool. This is just like one of those old Star Wars books where they show you how everything's made and they take it up and like show you, like, this is the cockpit. And this is called the Laser Destroyer. Super cool that they actually did these blueprints. I'm assuming they did them for the show so you know what's in it and what it looks like. Look at that. That's super cool. The detail in the show is just fucking amazing. Sorry, can't, you guys can't see the other side. And we're almost done. We're getting to the end here. It's a big art book. Oh, look at the end. See you, Space Cowboy. This is one of my all-time favorite animes, honestly. It gives me the chills. I just double-checked. His name is Vicious. Come on, guys. Give me some credit. Knives is really close to Vicious. I mean, how else can you explain that? So let's go ahead and open up the series. We'll take a look inside. Uh, my two favorite animes are Trigun and Cowboy Bebop. So uh, that explains that. They're, they're my two babies that I grew up watching, man. Well, not grew up, but uh, watched on Toonami. Good memories with those. So let's open this thing up. How can I best open this and not destroy? Oh, there we go. Okay. So I've showed you the back of this already. So no need to go back over that. Showed it when we pulled out of the box at the very beginning. And it is just a piece of paper. So I will show you the back one more time. I lied. Cowboy Bebop 20th. And there's all the info down there. In case you... In case you're interested in seeing that. And now we'll go back. I'd like to try and keep these, but it's weird that they never put these on. I guess it looks better without. So let's pull these things out here. Oh, these are so nice, like steelbook cases. Wow. So there is one, two, and three. Check them out, super cool. And let's do one first. Spike and Jet, the two boys, the two homies, riding out to the end, ride or die. Super cool. Love both of them. We'll open it up and check it. Oh, look how nice this is. Oh, wow, guys. I've never had a really nice steel book like this. Wow. One and two. It's got art on the back side. Check it out. So even more art involved in this. They had a whole art book. They gave art cards. And there's even more art. The art doesn't stop. Oh, and there's something in the middle oh, that's just that just contains both of the, the artworks. Okay, close that. Is that closed? I've never owned one before, you guys. It's too nice. Here's number two. They all have the same thing on the back. You got Faye. I'm going to imagine the next one is Ed and Ein is going to be my guess. 
Oh, it's just the crew kicking it. Kicking it on the spaceship. Super throwback. Love it. Seal that one up. Dunzo. And who would have guessed it? I guessed it. I think this was in the art book, this picture. I skimmed past it for a brief second. Knocking at Heaven's Door. The movie. Dude, the movie's so good. I used to have this movie on... You remember the PSP? Old school PSP? They released movies on like their UMD. Is it a UMD? I don't remember what the, the disc was called that you entered in to the PSP. And I just had that as a movie. And we took a trip. I think in eighth grade, we took a trip to go to Yosemite. I think that's correct. And I watched that movie on the way up to Yosemite. That and I had some like horror movie also on there. Good times. That movie was so fucking good. Cowboy Bebop the movie is a great anime movie. So glad it's in this collection. Cool. And the last thing to look at is the vinyl. So hopefully this can fit on screen. This might be a little hard to display. Give me a second here. I had to turn the camera up so I could hopefully get all of it if I hold it far enough away. So I'm going to take the plastic off because we've looked at both sides. And we'll get a better look at the back once I have the plastic off so it's not reflecting my fat face onto it. All right. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, here's the full thing in all of its glory. I think that says up top there, rework, which become a new genre itself will be called Cowboy Bebop. Sure, yeah. So there's the front, and then we'll get a better look at the back because there is, oh, you can still see me. But hopefully you guys can see it better. Let's move out of the way. Sorry for the lighting. It's a cool... I think that's your best one right there you got. That's them on the back. It's really hard to see with any sort of lighting, but it looks really good in person, I promise. And then there's all the track listing right there. Super cool. I think this is the first time ever that the soundtrack's been on the vinyl. So, super, super cool. I just had to have it. We'll open this thing up. Oh, look at this. Wow. And here is even more tank seatbelts. I guess these are by the bands and who played what, which is super cool. Waltz for ZZ. Trying to make it so it focuses. Move my hand. Super, super cool. Well, should I take out the vinyls? You want to take a look at the records? I am a master at handling records. Not really. So uh, don't scream if I fuck it up. They have their own little case. Oh, this looked blue for a second. Oh, look at the top. Look at that. Okay. Wow. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. 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 That is so fucking cool. God, excuse my language. I'm just blown away at this set. I wish I could have got the one that I really wanted the most was the $550 one. Um, I was really hoping that one was going to be made. It was pretty ex pretty expensive. But it came with like two, I think they were shelf holders or like uh, like bookends. But they were, were going to be resin like figures slash statues of the whole crew on like both sides. It seemed really cool to me, but clearly I was the only one who thought so because it did not get made. So I'm going to slide this baby back in there as carefully as possible. I think I showed you both sides. Hopefully that's good enough for you guys. And I don't want to break it. So, okay. It took a little work to get that back in there, but we'll pull out the next one. Let's see. Looks like it is red again. And we'll take a look. And then this will be all for me. I hope you guys have been enjoying it so far. It's really blown me away. The quality of this. So let's start with side three. So it is just red again. There's the front for you. So I didn't do that mark there, by the way, before. You know, I am pretty notorious for just destroying things as I take them out. But I swear to God that mark wasn't me. That was already there. Cowboy Bebop, and here's the last one. Wow, just so, so beautiful of a set. Wow, that one went in much easier than the other one. 
so that has been everything you guys i hope you guys have enjoyed checking it out as much as i have i've been waiting for this thing for quite a while i knew it got funded and they had to make it and all that junk but just wow i mean 250 dollars might seem like a lot for you guys but this is seriously i would say my all-time favorite anime i love cowboy bebop i love everything about it it just i don't know it's so cool. I normally don't like anime that's like kind of episodic and all over the place, but this one just does it for me. This and Cowboy Bebop, I grew up watching on Toonami with my dad. It was like the one thing both my dad and I would watch on Toonami, and it's like it was so cool to me that we were both watching an anime and he liked it and I liked it. So many memories of this. It's worth it. I would pay it any day to get this. I don't even have a record player to enjoy the records, but I will support Cowboy Bebop as if they need it. But I will buy Cowboy Bebop stuff to the end of my life. So thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It wasn't too much talking, but the unboxing got done. If you did like the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I do unboxings. I spend way too much money on anime things. If you know of any cool anime stuff coming out, leave them in the comments down below, and I'll check it out, and I'll probably purchase it. So once again, this has been Sam with Otaku. I hope you guys liked the video, and I will catch you guys in the next one.